Hey everybody, this is Dave, and today we're going to put Cody, the official Cody app, right on your Apple TV 4. Now, the reason you're following this video, uh, opposed to the other guys, is that you know that I put things in detail, and I'm going to make sure that you have every setting correct uh, when you do this. So to get uh, Cody on your Apple TV 4, you need a couple of requirements. You need the Apple TV 4 running TV OS 9.1. You can check that in your about screen. You need a USB C to USB A. That's the old uh, 3.0s or 2.0s. And this is the new one, uh, the USB C that is on the new MacBooks now. So there's a wire here, and I got a picture of it up on the screen here. And or you can use the USB C to USB C that on your newer MacBooks. So then you need a couple of apps. You need App Signer. And if you click the link in the description, you'll get App Signer, and that's this app right here. And this helps with uh, signing uh, the application so that you can actually build it. All right. And then you have the Kodi deb file, and you get that from the link in here. And it's called Nightlies because every night or once in a while, they'll update the app to make, you know, this is how you're going to get updates to the Kodi app. You can do this whole process again using the newer uh, deb file, and uh, that will make it so that you got the latest Kodi. You also need Xcode, you know, Xcode app. That's Apple's app to build apps. And you can sign up for a free developer account at the, uh, the link here. And you pretty much sign in. You pretty much use that account. Uh, it's free, but you don't have to ha pay the $99 uh, that you normally have to pay. Uh, in order to make apps with Xcode and things like that. So uh, once you have that all set, now when you sign up for your developer account, make sure you remember the username uh, or the email that you put in as a username and, or, and the password, of course. Now, in the old days when we first signed up for Apple uh, accounts, you know, developer accounts, we were able to put just a username in. We didn't have to have it in the form of an email. So if you're an old uh, you know, developer, just make sure that you know that because that's going to help you later on in the video. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to fire up Xcode. And of course, we're going to download uh, the signer and the, um, the nightly. Okay, and that's up on my screen here. I already downloaded it. I pulled out of my downloads folder and I put it on the screen here. This is just a shortcut to the app. Uh, the Xcode app. So now once you're in here, I've got old projects here, but we want to create a, a new project. Okay, you want to make sure that you're on tvOS applications and you want to make sure it's a single view application. So we're going to hit next and now you want to name this the right, you want to name this something that you're going to remember uh, when you're doing the other steps. So I'm going to name it simply Cody and I'm gonna put like my initials. Uh, actually, I'll put something like Cody for Apple TV 4, okay? Now that's a unique uh, word because you wanna be able to remember this. Now also here, you, you're gonna have your organization name because that's what you did when you signed up and you wanna have it as com dot whatever this name is here. All right, fine. So now you have that bundle identifier that's gonna show the name of the app uh, and your organization ID and you want to have it on Swift and you want to have these things to checked off all right so now we're gonna hit next and you want to now save this project to your desktop to make it easier because I have everything else on the desktop and it says git uh, repository and it's my Mac because you're using a Mac for this obviously so <clears throat> now we're gonna hit create and you're gonna see the folder that we built that we named and everything show up here on your desktop now with all the other stuff that we downloaded okay so now here we have an issue says fix issue and that has to do with you know uh, building an app and there's provision profiles and don't worry about that you just click fix issue it's going to resolve code signing issues and it's going to be stuck there but you can't go any further until you use this next app I'm going to show you so you leave this just the way it is Make sure that you put it up here uh, on the name of that folder, okay? And that you have the Apple TV to simply Apple TV 4. 
even if it said something else there. So this and this have to be like that. And now, remember when I told you when you sign into uh, an account, a free user account, make sure you have the right name up here. You might have something different up here. Um, so it's going to say my username. See, yours might be an email. So just remember that. And when you go to Xcode and you hit preferences, when you hit accounts, you want to make sure that you have the account that you that you have. Okay, you sign in the correct way. If not, you hit the plus sign and you add that account, remembering that it's a email. What a, maybe it's your iCloud, maybe it's an AOL account, or whatever it is, as long as whatever you did when you set up the developer account is the correct way, okay? Actually, I'll show you the plus here. So we can add Apple, D, uh, Apple ID and all that stuff. Okay, so now that's out of the way. Um, you just wanted to go into preferences just to make sure everything was right. Okay, so now with the team in, in there perfectly set, everything is good. So now we're going to minimize this. We have everything set here. We're going to minimize it. All right, here we go. So we'll minimize this. Now we're going to open up this app here. And this app, you click and you double click. And now you have this here. This is the iOS app signer. So it's going to fix the problem that you have with signing uh, for this code here. All right. So the input file, that's going to be, um, the, we're going to go into here and we're going to see the dev file. Okay, that's the dev file we downloaded. That's the Kodi uh, dev file. Just like when you have Cydia, you have dev files. They load in and they install an app on your phone when it's jailbroken. So here's the dev file, all right? So we have that. We're going to hit open so that it shows up in here. Now remember, sign in as, as not my other new account, but with my old account. See, you got to remember it. Now also, it says here, provisioning profiles you may have a list of hundreds of these because you developed before you've done everything before now because we made a unique Kodi apple tv4 folder you you can recognize it easier in here see now you recognize it Kodi apple tv4 so that's why it always has to be a unique name for that folder so we leave these two blank and we simply just hit start and now what's that going to do that's going to tell you where do you want to save this IPA. That's an app that iOS uses because Apple TV is iOS. We're going to save it to the desktop with everything else. So we're going to hit that save and we're going to see it uh, start unpacking. It's I'm going to leave this in real time. I'm not going to speed it up. I want to show you all the things that are happening. Now what's going to happen? It's going to place a IPA, so a cracked app or an app on your screen here. So here it is but it looks a little weird but now in a second you're going to see after it packages it that it's going to be an ios app specifically for the apple tv obviously not for ios so here say like dot ipa so here's your app right here there goes your folder that you created there's your app signer program and there goes your original deb file so now we're all set with this so now we can go back to Xcode. Let's go back into Xcode because we just minimized it. And now what we're going to do is, since we have it all set up here, we have everything correct, we did that signing thing, you're going to go into Windows, and you're going to go to Devices because you have your Apple TV connected to your computer. So the devices will show up here, just like it does in iTunes. See, in iTunes, it shows up here, right? So, you know, we have to have, you should have iTunes opened up and have your Apple TV when your Apple TV is connected so that you know that it's connected. Okay. So we'll just leave that minimized iTunes there. So that's that. Now we have the Apple TV because it's connected with the wire and we're all set with this now. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus down here because we're going to install an app. We're going to side load it onto the Apple TV. So here we click plus. We have the app right here. It's all built up with Xcode. We signed it using that signing program. And there it is. So we're going to hit open. And I'm going to show you the screen of my Apple TV. And you're going to, I'm going to leave this in real time. You're going to see everything copying over. And Apple TV 4 is busy. And it's doing its thing. It's going to throw it on there. It's going to sideload it right onto the Apple TV. Now, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Um, I, I'm, you know, I answer my comments real quick if you know me. Make sure you subscribe and please hit that like button. Um, we're also going to do other videos. I have tons of other, thing, 
of Apple TV 4 that you can watch. Now watch my screen on my Apple TV. And in a second, boom, there it is. It just popped up on the screen. Now this is Cody. This is not Mr. MC or anything like that. This is a full-fledged Cody. If we open it, you're going to see the new splash screen there. Uh, and you're going to be able to go into like system. Oh, sorry. Go in the system and you can do add ons. All right. This is, you know, not a watered down version. This is a full version. And you can go ahead. Oops, sorry about that. You can go in and install from a zip file. So that means you can put all your favorite sources in and all that stuff. And now you got Cody on your brand new Apple TV without a jailbreak by side loading and using particular apps that you can make this happen. Don't forget to add the nightlies and redo this process so that you get a better version. If there's any problems they need to fix, they'll do it on the nightlies. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.